We are in Windows Server 2019 and we've installed Active Directory in a previous video. So let's go ahead and create a new user. Let's go to where our users folder is. We'll right click and we'll choose new user. Let's go ahead and drag it to the middle and we'll put in name and then our login. We'll click next. Put in the password, and it has to be at least seven characters with at least one uppercase and one number. Now we have some options here, such as the user must change the password next logon. This is really useful if you're going to have a generic password that you want the user to change as soon as they log on the first time. But if this is going to be their permanent password or the password for the next 90 days, then just go ahead and uncheck it. If you want it to be their permanent password, just go ahead and check the box that says never expires. If you don't, then by default after 90 days it will be forced to be changed. You could also say the user cannot change the password. Now this is useful for things such as copiers or you know other things that are not actual users. Otherwise, I don't recommend this. And if your uh, user is not ready to start working at your company, then just go ahead and disable it for now and you can enable it once they actually start. That increases your security. Let's go ahead and uncheck and we'll click next and finish. So now there's our name, we double click on it. And we see a lot of different tabs that we can do. And one of those things we can do is we can add to groups. So I can click on Add. And let's just say that I'm going to add myself to the administrators group. I'll click Check Names. Click OK. And Apply. And now I'm also an administrator. And we'll click OK. So that's how we create a user account in Windows Server 2019 Active Directory.